Ready to start song? Just reason imbecile.
and welcome. Hope everyone's doing well today. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, guys, it's gonna be a new one. I have not cast STDB yet. I've been wanting to for a while and I almost did once, but unfortunately there wasn't a space or time to get that cast going. So today's gonna be a new one for me. I don't know too much about either of these teams actually. I know a little about the French side. They're gonna be playing on the allies today. That is mostly the five. So the five is a comprom compromise, no, compilation, uh, coming together, let's use that word, of French teams. Uh, good team, they're in the HPL. However, there's some new blood in this version. They are calling it the Blacklist. And today they are playing with uh, 233rd Cavalry over here on, uh, what is this? This is Utah Beach. Okay, cool. So we're just getting the flip going now. We're gonna get into a min cam here and check things out. See what kind of map layout we have for the match. And just double check to see if anything's gonna get reset. No, looks like everyone's in here, good to go. Maybe a few members of STDB getting, uh, getting knocked out of this match, but that's all right. They will be fine, all right. Hope you enjoy this game, guys. It should be a good one. Again, uh, STDB versus uh, 233 from France in a combination with Blacklist. Enjoy this one, guys. Just chilling in the warm-up here. You can see both sides. Getting ready to go. Get that music off there. All right, you can see, uh, so we're gonna be on the same side as the STDB team. They're gonna be attacking from the left side onto W97 as the main point. Uh, interesting layer here for the Germans. Uh, I don't know if I if I like it or, or don't like it. I think I, I do like this for the Germans. Their, their points are very close together. Um, but they can't get they can't get flanked in the rear here. They need to stay really strong on their front. Oh, uh, and on their their side flank because if they if they lose spawns on this side, they're they're screwed. I think it should be an easier defense here for the allies. Hill five and Terra Green are very far spaced apart. In Terra Green, there's really no no opportunity to flank on the north side, kind of like Saint Marie. But the the points are so much further apart here for the allies that if they do lose one or two points, that they can come back at this. Now, let's see what's going on. We got supply truck, full transport truck, second full transport truck, light tank, medium tank, all coming down. I like this opening. Recon tank gonna go the long way around, probably go for a reconnaissance onto the artillery. And then a late, late uh, transport truck coming out here. Um, that's very late, but I think this should be enough to contest the point. Two trucks, supply truck, medium tank, light tank, and, and also a recon in the end too. Now, if we get out of the map here in a few seconds, we should be able to see what the allies are sending over here, the midpoint. You can already see deployment has started from ARC. I do see two supply trucks, sorry, two transport trucks. Making their way downtown. Oh, getting stuck there in the barbed wire, unfortunately there for uh, for one of those trucks. It looks like STDB is gonna be the first on the scene. Oh yeah, they have a second truck coming in from the bottom side here. Strong point control goes to STDB off the bat arc. And the uh, French coalition 233rd looking to get in here. Nice shots from rockets coming out from STDB. Absolutely decimating the line of the French attackers here on the allied side. Very nice use of those rockets. Probably knocked these defenders in about half. Just with the rocket play alone. Very nice. Initial attack here on the right side seems to have been foiled, but a big flanking maneuver coming down on the north side of your map. You can see that they're penetrating behind the line. 
doing very well looks like strong point still controlled here and cap progress being made by the germans on point on the strong point however big flanking maneuver coming to the north here from the allied side panzer ii lux gets up in the mix to try and help out on the defense as we just passed 50 percent cap progress whole squad is redeploying to the left flank to try and deal with this flank here crazy rammer taking out one Falco and Crazy Rammer here. Crazy drops. Falco also drops too. So momentary uh, plug in here from STDB on the left flank, stopping uh, what, what looked like a tidal wave of uh, of allies from getting around behind the point. Good job defensively here. You can see defensive line set up for STDB is holding strong on the front. Um, oh, I'm a little concerned though about their rear. Now, Christian is a squad lead. He has the ability to put spawns behind this push. Um, and bodies are dropping here, you can see. But if, if the allies can get behind here, they can and get these spawns down, they can, they can surround the midpoint. So that's a big worry. I don't... I don't know if we're getting some UI glitches here. Oh, thank you, Scout, for the uh, the follow. Yeah, some UI glitches. You're seeing some some infantry that are there that are disappearing, so it's hard to gauge really how the fight's going. Looks like it's going the way of the five, though. Uh, the five CFR. Apologies. The, I'll call them the allies for now because it's a, it's a multitude of clans coming together. Uh, here's the garrison on the backside. Clowns is going to try to rotate over to this garrison. Ooh, this might be a big play here from Clowns. Let's go on board with him and see if he can take out the garrison here on the defensive for the Germans. That's an important defensive garrison right here. It is all alone. Oh, is he going to be able to sneak this? Does he Does he go for the shots or does he just go for the sneaky, sneaky play? Kills one, kills two. Mordok should fall back. He heard those shots. Oh, not in time though. Come on, Mordok. Oh, is he going to make it? Oh, come on. Don't take your time, run! Mordok, come on! No! <laughs> oh, clowns! Ah, uh, he's back to back! Is he gonna get it? Yeah, he should, surely. No, he doesn't see him! What? How do you not see him? He's right in front of you! Mordok, what are you- what is going on right now? <laughs> he's right in front of you! How do you not see him? What is going on? I cannot believe what I just saw. I cannot believe what I just saw. What in the world just happened? Mordok, I do not like what? How did you? Okay, well that garrison's down now. This is big trouble here for STDB. Uh, you got Novers, Clink, and Madras coming back. They need to fall back here and plug this hole because if they get surrounded on the backside, it's going to be bad news bears here for the defending Axis members. However, as we say that artillery coming down on point kills a few, but you can see the line, the, the, the wide gap defense here from STDB is going to be okay, I think. As long as they can get guys out there into the trenches, onto these walls and berms, um, one or two guys, and keep the spacing well, I think they should be uh, having a rather easy time to defend. There is also a Puma, you can see right here, uh, shelling any advance from the Allies with an AT gun. So I'm, I'm assuming the Puma is going to be on HE duty, and this AT gun is going to be scanning for tanks. Now, oh, long shot coming in. What a shot! Fataglis with the downtown rocket. Oh, that was a nasty shot onto the AT gun here um, from downtown. That was Kobe Akna here looking for some shots, getting some shots of his own on. However, that AT gun is not in operation right now. Fataglis, we're going to have to give him a shout out here. He does drop in the end. Uh, nice, nice shot there from uh the allied uh, at player though very good job rotating back to the backside looks like the reinforcements have come in from stdb crazy rammer jean-luc texas h bimscal they're all trying to get in here but uh there there is there is a a gap a plug in the gap you know christmas l over here big l 
Uh, we'll call him Big W, though. He's a very good player. We've seen him on squad line battles and on Greyhound night. Um, absolutely dominating with his infantry play. So he and Crazy Rammer, too. Both sides having really strong players. Falco, Jean-Luc, all these guys, very recognizable names. Very capable of taking out multiple players, like 1v2, 3 4 -ing. Crazy Rammer taking it slowly, though. There, uh, I mean, yeah, the, the Bim Sky and, and Crazy Rammer not in a great spot. You can see that uh, we got Richtoff and Goof on the backside. They are closing the noose here down on these two last allies. It's a good idea to hide really for Rammer. You know, wait for them to get out of the out of the way and maybe sneak and get a get a tank or two. Um, you can see Panzer IV coming up to secure this flank. Now, I do like this defensive play here from STDB. Rammer poking his head out, saying hello and jumping back in his bush like the bushwookie he is. Uh, apologies for the uh it might be an icon setting that's causing the the players to disappear here maul and, and frost i guess rammer did go down yeah he must have gone down so clean up crew on aisle you for the attacking uh allies there uh this is looking promising though not a lot of defenders back on point here for the axis if you do go down, the floodgates might be open here. Only thing left defending is this. No, it's not. Puma's down. I guess I'm assuming feathergly has got another nice shot off, possibly. Uh, this is looking dangerous here for STDB. They committed so many bodies to the back um, that there's a massive gaping hole in the front and not very many members of STDB to defend. A Andy's the last one. Andy is the last one over here. Uh, Respawn's coming in. So Machine Gunner goes up, Zyke is there, Raven's coming in. I think STDB do have time. You can see Jan's there on the left side too. I think there is time to uh, to recover here and get some get some bodies up to defend against this attack. Yeah, it should be, should be more than enough time for that. And the score should also be 3-2. I'm tripping. Apologies for that. Damn, I got so excited. <laughs> I got a little ahead of myself. All right, we might have a tank gameplay. Uh, tank little fight over here. 75, Hades. Who's crewing the Hades today? It is Kraken, Middle Cop, and Reeds. And as we get onto the 75, Bombing Room comes down. Quick check of the map, guys, to see that bombing run. That is going to be an allied bombing run coming down. You can see the garrison set up for the Axis team here um, and also on the flank. Bombing run does come down from the allies. Smoke coming down, too. Just not a lot of bodies pushing the point. Finally getting some bodies in. Let's get into this fight and see how it goes. QQ, don't cry, is going to try to get some peeks on. Gets dropped right away. Let's see if Cast and Burn can be any more successful with the bar. Front gate is being defended by two or three members of the Axis team here. This is the primary entry point for the, the push. Deucin and uh, Untalented. Holding the fort down. Not too much coming off of that initial push with the bombing run from, uh, at, uh, from sorry, the allies here. Lions are still holding a, a few members of the alleys getting a little co closer here. You can see uh, Papa is there, but that front gate is solid. Andy, Untalented, and Nover still manning the forts there on the front. Uh, tank being spotted out here by the Axis team. Gonna see if we can't spot it out for you guys. No, not there. There is no tank there. It is just a pile of uh, spent casings. Response coming out from the allies uh, in orange. Ooh, big explosion on point. Not doing too much damage though, and Boitama actually gets. How? Did, where is he? Oh, he's dead. That's where he is. Uh, he got really close, to sneaking and sneaking on the backside, but not able to penetrate the point here for the allies. You can see. Uh, battle lines being redrawn here to the north 
and possibly even a tank going down. Wonder if that was uh, a tank or a supply truck. Good job recovering from STDB there, protecting their flank. However, you can see Gotcha, Fred, and company are trying to put you in here. Aiden, Kel, do kill one and look to rotate, but we're pretty far off point at this at this time. Uh, bombing run does come in from the Axis, finally. Ooh, gonna look to get a few bodies here. One, two, two, maybe three bodies go down. Not too many dead from that one. Just missing out a little bit there. Um, and yeah, okay, big push coming in here onto the northeast corner of the uh, of the midpoint here. But, I mean, look at how many bodies there are back from STDB to defend this. <laughs> look at... Deustin is in a tree. That's crazy. What a spot. Everyone who's watching, look at look at this nasty spot here. He, he, he's camouflaged. You know, he's one with the tree. He's looking like a branch. Nice nade, though, goes off. Kills one. Kills two at the front gate. Okay. Three nades. There's still two defenders there. Chris pushes. Gets one with the peak. Looks for a second. Oh, I don't know if he can get it. Maybe, maybe he'll go around the backside here. No, he gets fragged. So still plugging the holes here for SCDB. No member of the allies is able to get through. Um, and this push is just looking like a war of attrition. I'll boost both up a little bit. Yeah, boost it up a little bit. I don't want to be like bleeding your guys' ears out, you know? All right, uh, where are we at here? So the five, oh my God, I got to keep stopping the five. Two, three, three, uh, the allies here, the French coalition of teams coming in again from the north. Uh, this time, not as many defenders here from the Axis. There we go. Not as many defenders from the Axis at all. You can see here, big push coming in from the allies. Um, we'll see if SCDB can react to this like they did last time, but right now there's a two-pronged attack going on. Um, right, One right at the bottom of your screen and then one at the top. Respawns coming in from the defenders, not working just yet. I mean, the, the allies are almost on this Gary. Galbad takes out two. He's going to go for the Gary here. Can Falco defend it? Pierce is nowhere over here to defend this. And that's going to be another Gary going down on this northern flank for the allies. Good play here from, uh, from Gal and Flack, or Falco, should I say. Galbad does drop in the end, but the all-important garrison is down now. Is this going to be gates open here for uh, for the allies? I mean, they got 50% cap progress. It's waning back and forth. Very, very tight here on the backside from both sides. Uh, the, the only difference between the last attack and this one is that, uh, well, there's no infantry back here anymore. Infantry has been removed. Um, and, and it's essentially gates open on the backside for the allies to come in. Um, Tiger tank comes up to try and deal with some of this pressure. Uh, but you can see slowly but surely the allies are moving in. Kel here on the backside, looking to take out one of these back uh, outposts, if he can. Can Kel do it? Takes out one.
Takes out two more. That's three. But does Cal know about the OP? He sees one. He gets one, but he doesn't go for the second. Hopefully. Hopefully he pushes in the trench. No, he misses the second OP. Cal, no. I mean, this is trouble here for STDB, though. At least they still have one OP up. But, I mean, members of the allies are all over this point and the fourth point actually goes to goes to the axis am i tripping i am tripping wow apologies um that was my mistake no wonder there's less fighting at the mid uh so we whiffed on that and, and there's a conga line of of axis members going all the way to the fifth point This is just a, a, an absolute conga line. What does, uh, what do the French defenders have to do on the backside here? I'm not too sure. They're taking back the fourth point though. There is cap progress being made. The, mis the, the, the chance of, of possibly leaving too many people in the open here for STDB is real. Um, though there are a lot more members coming from, from the allies here into cap progress, into cap point. SCDB have to recall. I'd say they have to recall and secure this point. Very touch and go right now on the point. Apologies for that. I was tripping. Crazy Ram, we're gonna be looking to push in point now. Contacts on the left side. Those contacts are down. Ram, we're gonna look for two or three kills over here in front of him. Doesn't see those. Looking for Stone Jesus now. Uh oh. Pulls out the rocket at the wrong time. Goes for the rocket kill and gets dropped. Yeah, almost. I mean, 20% cap progress came back on the fourth point, but they're just not able to uh, to take it right now. Getting chopped down in the open. SCDB with a nice play. Oh my god, I can't believe I missed that. I am such an idiot. Uh, you can see the half-track play coming in here from STDB and backed up by two garrisons on the map. They also have a garrison for the third point and are starting to push Terra Green, however, only with an outpost now. Everyone who was attacking is down. Bombing run comes in from the allies. That's going to kill one or two. Still though, STDB is looking pretty good on the defense here. Looking pretty, pretty good. They're getting enough bodies onto the strong point here. And the only attacking vector from the... Uh, the 233rd cav is, is is kind of gone now. Uh, where is that uh, half track at? Is it parked over here somewhere? Yeah, there's... I can see the Gary here. Um, I don't see the half track anymore. Parked on the other side, I guess. Right there. So that's the main spawn here for STDB. Uh, dude did a really good job to take this point. So enthralled at WN7 battle that we, mi we missed this battle. We thought it was going to go either way. It didn't. And now here is where uh, 233 really needs to reset here. You can see they got about two squads worth of guys off on the flank here. But the, they're so compact. The defense here from SCDB is so wide right now that, I mean, maybe they could shove these bodies up the middle. But it, it's so wide that I think the, the allies would just get picked off fairly easily. Uh, let's rotate to the last point here for for the attackers you can see uh all the hammer in the backside on recon
What does he got? Oh, Commander, Navy SEALs. All the hammer doing some Navy SEAL shit right here. Oh. Uh, he's looking to the left here, but if he just looked in front of him, he'd see that Navy SEALs is standing there and there's a bunch of other guys spawning in. Can you not, can you not see in front? Garrison goes up on the backside and Hammer's shooting people to the left. Interesting. I mean, he's killing people too. All right, let's get back into the action here. You can see uh, Doctor and Chronic X3 pushing the point right now with Passy. Passy peeking. Sees one or two. Gonna get taken out by Hornet, possibly. Hornet should have a free shot. No, Passy just rotates behind the uh, bush for that one. Passy dropping bodies, though. Grenades come out. Underlux pops a kill for himself. Holding this flank pretty decently here is STDB. Underlux going to push with smoke right now. The STG-44 is a formidable weapon. I was going to have to watch out. Grenades come out from both sides. Don't know if those are going to connect. No, just over on Deluxe. Drops two on the push. Nice. Bodies dropping everywhere here for the allies. This is like a two or three man push from STDB. Working out very well in their favor. Ooh, going to trade over there. But still more bodies coming in from the Germans here. You can see a tidal wave of Blue Doctor backing up his teammate. Is he going to put, a, put an OP down? No, he's going to be tossing a nade. Oh, Nade doesn't connect with anybody there. Missing Big Mick by about 10 meters. Doctor versus Big Mick. 1v1 on point right now. Doctor looks to push in and get a little closer here. Don't know if he spots out Big Mick. Oh, there's somebody inside that uh, that bunker that takes, takes some shots. Doctor able to win that trade, though. Ooh, potato, a little bit of potato there from Doctor. Hornet dies too, though. I guess it's worth you get the trade. Uh, another wave of attacks, though, coming in from the Axis side. However, no smoke this time, and they're going to get dropped instantly. Big, uh, big Mick. I almost said something wrong there. <laughs> and uh, and Gordon coming up. Uh, yeah, that, that attack is being wiped out. Good gunplay here from the defenders. 233C. That's 233rd Cavalry here from France, representing with the gunplay. Uh-oh, well, let's get back into this fight here, though, because uh, Respawn Wave comes in, and there's going to be a peek onto this, uh, onto this push again. So third time might be a charm here. I don't know. I think there's too many allied defenders to, to really make this a successful push. Uh, also, I think I'm, uh, I'm Roxas is on the, uh, the trench shotgun. Oh, that's gonna be rough. You can see here, Underlux is gonna be rotating around. Drops one, only one ally left. It's just a, really a, a hard position to be in here for the allies. Both teams actually. There's so much open ground on both sides. There's a nice shot comes in. Where is there a tank? There's gotta be a tank somewhere because that that was a tank round. That was disgusting. Bodies flying everywhere. Uh, the last of the Axis do drop here, and I'm wondering if I'm Roxas is going to be able to spot out this OP from the Axis in this bush. Oh, Spawn Wave comes in, not in time. Roxas, I believe, has a trench shotgun, and that nade... Oh, that nade's going to connect just too long on the nade. <laughs> oh, that could have been nasty. Underlux going to get his STG out for the double kill again. Uh, tank, you can see the tank shooting. I believe that might actually be an AT gun. Yes, AT gun from Fatigles, uh coming back. And, and this is just a grindhouse. Nobody's really winning on this flank. Back and forth from both teams. Fatigles is having a field day with his little field cannon over there.
Uh, you can see the battle has progressed. 4-1, of course, the score. Apologies. A little behind the eight ball today. I need to, to have a shot of Red Bull or something to wake up. Uh, you can see the attack coming in. It's like essentially a frontal assault here going to the west, trying to drive in Hill 5. Really nice defensive setup here from STDB. You can see how they're spaced. They're spaced out, you know, not more than two people within 100 meters of each other. That's really how you defend. Um, the only only downside to that is if you do get taken out, you, it can open up gaps in your defense, but it really allows you to get the most angles down. Making some progress and cap progress on this fourth point here, Hill 5, for the Allies, but that is quickly squashed. You can see uh, Falco and Bimsky both pushing up here. Going board with Bimsky here. There's contact to the right side. He's got the trench shotgun, though. Not the best at range. Vaults over the top of this bunker uh, and, and instantly dies. <laughs> Only one member of uh, the Allies on point. You can see Say Barrio. But there is an opening in the middle here that could be exploited. Now, Respawn Wave does come in for STDB defenders. You can see that. They're going to try to take back their previous positions. However, there is a Sherman tank that is just pounding them. Um, if we look, you can see right here, Kraken, Middle Coop, and Reed, S57 with the 76. Absolutely pounding the defense here on point. Any, any Axis member that pokes his head out um, is going to get hit. However, Tank finally does get spotted out, so I wonder if there's going to be some Axis armor to counter this. Now, let's get really high here so you can see the difference uh, between both points and the attackers and defenders on them. So, checking the map also really quick, you can see attacks still persisting. Some more OPs going up to attack Tear Green here for the Axis team. One more Gary added to the mix also. You can kind of see this defensive line here. Um, and the only tank that's coming to challenge is going to be a Tiger tank, a heavy, uh, coming out for the Axis. Bombing run also going to be coming down um, right in the top of point here. So we're going to see a bombing run. And it's, it's honestly not going to get too many, many bodies here. Probably only Aiden or Clowns is going to drop. That bombing run missing the mark on the point. It's about to drop here. Cap Rocker is still coming in. Honestly, I think if Aiden and Clowns can make it into the trench, they should be good. Here comes the bombing run. Gonna team kill. Oh, no. Sorry, didn't team kill anybody there. Uh, it's not Luke Texas. The rip. You're dead. H is rip. You're dead too. Two kills there. Maybe three on the bombing run. Not wholly successful. However, those two bodies made it enough so that cap progress is dropping. STDB also looking to surround the point here and kill the rest of the defenders. Apologies. Funny. Yeah, my, I had nice Sennheiser uh, earphones and they were great. Um, and then they broke and I, I've, I've had a really hard time balancing my audio. Uh, anywho, back to the fight. You can see here that attack from uh, 233rd has fallen apart. Uh, SCDB recalled the right amount of bodies and essentially surrounded the point here. You can see Stone Jesus pushing the flank. Um, Novers here just really getting to the spawn. Novers is about to actually take out the garrison that was being used to attack with. Good play Novers there. Garrison goes down. Attack falls apart. 
It still remains. It still remains uh, for one, for the time being. Game has settled down a bit though, quite a bit. STDB holding strong at 4-1 here. 54 minutes left to go in this game. Two hundred thirty-third. You know they're still in this one, but they're pushing. They're having to push from from their main uh, main spawn. You can see Kel, Gotcha, Fred still on point, but they're essentially surrounded. Jean Loop, let's go on with uh, Jean Loop in the field. Let's see how the infantry battles are going here. See that gotcha fed and uh, phallus are on point. Wow, how are they still alive? Ooh, big spawn wave coming in. Get decimated instantly. Oh no, Jen with the, the <laughs> say hello to my little friend. <laughs> Tony Montana gonna kill the full squad and take out the OP Jen with the MVP moves here. Good job, Jen. That was that was nasty. Nasty, nasty plays here from Jen on the defensive side with the MG 42 from the hip. However, there has been an opening here. Crazy Rammer looks to exploit it. You can see all the members of uh, 233 team coming in here and friends. Uh, Crazy Rammer's on the Gary here on the backside. Oh, two spawn in. He drops both of them. Nice play from Rammer. That's going to be a garrison here for the allies team. Flanking Garrison onto the main point. Good, good play. Looks like it's Sank. He's in trying to engage him. Rammers, is he going to survive? No, he's not. Tiger Tank wins the day. Uh, I think that's worth, though, from Rammer. He does get the Gary. Uh, this Tiger is going to be a, a thorn in the uh, side of the attackers, though. Um, you can see it just has a clear kind of angle onto any infantry moving in it'll be able to engage with his uh with his main gun no doubt still a garrison going down means one less spawn point for the defenders here now stdb is doing very well here on the attack you can see they're pushing so far actually i, I would call this more of an extended defense here they're not really attacking the last point um, I, I think if they can cut this off and, and take the HQ, uh, them being the, the blue axis here, they should be able to, to close this game out. As long as that main HQ spawn is up, though, they're going to have a hard time. Important fight here for the allies. They need to push the axis out of this little hamlet. Full squad pushing in. Oh, Vault comes over, rides the head of Passy, and goes down. That was a funny little play there. I don't know if any nades are going to come out, possibly, to clear it. Gotcha, Fred's peeking, peeking. He gets taken out. Aiden gets taken out, too. No. Passy, though, with a nice play. Good play uh, on his part there. Razalan's making a beeline for the, uh, for the artillery here in the spawn. Don't know if that's going to work out for him. You can see uh, Spawn's coming in with an outpost right uh, right on the beach here. Brassline with the flank. 
1v1 versus uh, Gizmo. Gets the kill there. One more left. Thorium on the left side. He's on artillery, though. He has no idea. And all it takes is one shot. Razlan. Sneaky, sneaky play. SDGB finally decide to push out and they're looking to clear these sectors here kind of a yin yang effect on the battlefield if I go really high you can see um, SDGB is rotating on the left side of your screen here coming down to the beach while uh, 233rd is rotating on the right <laughs> it's a long way to travel for a slap that's true I don't know if this play is going to be very, very successful here for 233rd. I mean, there is also a Tiger on the loose. Let's go on board with the Tiger here and see what he's doing. Do we have an AT up? Yeah, we got a... Uh, I can't read. I think Hornet with the AT has a chance for a shot. Boydma is also in the mix with a chance for a shot here. I think Hornet should be able to get a shot right about now, if he can. No. No, not in time. Uh, Roxius walks right in front of the machine gun of the Tiger. He's going to go down. Super, Super Vach is, is, has a satchel. Um, he's got to be careful, though. He's right in front of the... Uh-oh. Chris wants in and immediately... <laughs> Immediately gives the position away of that uh, OP. Hopefully the squad leads still up down the road a little bit Super super's hiding the bush you can't see him right now, but he's right there Let's uh, let's go on with him. He's gonna be crawling Looking for the satchel play here. Hopefully he doesn't get run over by the tiger though. That would be that would be hilarious Here it comes. Here's the tiger. Okay. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it, go for it, go, 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 Satchel, go, go, yes, come on, come on, Super, come on, Super, you can do it, oh, the tank stops, perfect timing, Satchel goes down, crew comes out, they all drop, nice play here, this Tiger's gonna be going down, really nice combo play here by the defenders, uh, well, not the defenders, the allies, Super, Boom! See you later, Tiger. Nice little play there to take down the Tiger. However, as that happened, um, STB cleaned up. They cleaned up the flank. And instead of being a yin-yang now, I don't know what to call this. Uh, so, kind of a rotation of spots of sorts. You can see that Rammer's on the spearhead here. And once again, straight up the middle here, we have another allied push. Rammer gonna drop. Uh, I wonder if there's a machine gunner in one of these uh, bunkers. No, no, no machine gunner on to go on with. You can see straight up the middle here. The allies trying again to make this work. It's going to be very hard. Very, very hard. Go down on board with Christmas L as he looks to uh, make this push by the allies a loss. Very nice defending too. I really like this style of defense. I think it's super effective. You, you don't rush a whole squad into one spot. You let one or two guys go down each hedge roll. 
and then you push together and, and look to clear out. Another kill for Chris Massell there. Looking at Gotcha Fred. Was looking for Gotcha Fred. Don't think he saw him there. L gonna drop. Gonna take the L on that one. Uh, still just not lots of progress coming in here on point from the allies. As we as we zoom out, you can see on the attack at Hill 5, just a slim, slim margin straight down the middle. But if we pull it even more, it's flanked by just blue everywhere. So if guys like Imajario and Undelux and Rasland can all rotate back to the middle here, I think uh, I think that 2-3-3 will be in, again in trouble and they'll just lose that push. Rotating over to the defensive side of things, last point here, Terra Green. Uh, the Axis are getting very close. Not a lot of defenders. I'd say maybe uh, equal uh, for both teams coming out here. Doctor's going to be looking to get a push and maybe an OP down on this flank. He's going up in a 1v1 against Nastar. I don't even know if Nastar knows he's in a 1v1 right now. Um, this little half track, though, will, will make for a nice peek over the top of this berm. He doesn't take it, Doctor. We'll, we'll stay on board with Doctor here to see what he can do. Gonna be looking at Big Mick and uh, Gabri Do. One shot. Gabri goes down. Big Mick returns fire. Plus, there's one more in the bunker over there. Artheon. Passy's gonna spawn in too. Passy, you might want to watch out there. Your buddy just peeked. You're gonna get domed if uh, if you peek there. Nastar though, gonna get set up on the defensive with a machine gun. Uh, he's just spraying and praying right now. Please hit something. Please be a German. <laughs> Coming back up wide shot. You can see not too much action on the attack here. You got two squad leads. Doctor, you also got Zed here. Uh, looking to make this attack happen. I wonder how they're going to attack this. A decent defensive line here for the allies in defense. Just not... Uh, not not on the strong point there's a there's a gap in the defenses here i feel like if you could get some smoke hold up speaking of smoke that gap was just plugged by a 76 rolling in tank gets spotted out right away he is in deflate though right now the tiger probably doesn't have a peak on him um and this might be an issue for the axis team don't know if they have uh any at not right now they're gonna need to get a rotation there we go we got at right there uh, Pierce better get his satchel to rock it out though. He's got a chance for a shot There there are some reinforcements coming in fat who who so epically uh, Kobe that rocket earlier on let's go on board with him He's looking to throw some nades and push this German outpost takes out one takes out two on the right side nice shots there Lots of smoke where the OP, I believe, is. Let's go above this. Uh, more dock on the backside. Gonna have to watch out. Let's check the map really quick here. Oh, as the 76 goes down on the right side of your screen. Uh, yeah, no more OPs up here. Just one on the top from Doctor and then also a second wa uh, <laughs> waffle. A second outpost in the middle uh, with Gary's. You can see infantry markers, but this collapse is already succeeding. Or SCDB holding on to that uh, that 4-1. Let's rotate over to see the attack from the Allies side. Yeah, you can see um, the pincers have closed on that attacking movement. Goof, Obers, Clink, Imaginario. Ooh, he gets destroyed by artillery. Not doing so hot today. Uh, but but overall, the plan works. Uh, new plan though, you can see allies have realized that, that pushing the mid is not going to work for them And so they're going to be coming in from the uh, Southern side here looking to push all, all the way down this line to point now I like that play over just pushing up from the east because it gives You know, it, there's some more cover there. There's there's trees. There's there's more. I mean, there's not much more cover Let's be honest. There's more concealment though And, and this kind of throws throws a wrench at the uh, defending Germans here. Now, artillery is coming out, so I'm going to check the map quickly to see if this is spotted out. 
Um, yes, it is spotted out here. Garrison just gets sniped, though. Um, there is a further garrison back, unfortunately, and I don't think any allies uh, pushed to it on the initial push, no. So there's a second Gary up right here, which can, again, like, STDB has nice placement on these Garys. So even if the allies do manage to push onto the strong point, defenders can spawn here and come in from the backside and just come in from behind and collapse again like they have two or three times already. Rotating back onto the point. Artillery shots, tank shots going off all over the place. Uh, STDB hasn't been able to close this one out. Every time they uh, they try to, it just kind of gets, gets overrun. Second uh, 76 coming out to play. I'm sorry, 75. Decent cover here for the tank. You can see the tiger tank of Ghost Kid Amazing and Ralph Fael just over the hedge. And this is going to be Unrelate, uh, Xenon, and Chrysale. Chrysalis? Um, we'll see if that tiger... I mean, the tiger's in a nice spot here. What can he see, though? Let's get right down beside him. He can't see too much. Chairman's in a really nice spot. I mean, shots are coming in though. Are they landing? That's the question. No. Tank looks fairly good. I believe the bushes or the cover is taking out all the shots here on the backside. <laughs> you can see the tiger is persistent though. He's hitting, he's hitting like a fence post right there. Yeah, he's hitting like a bush. That's some, some strong wood. That little bush is made of strong, strong wood. Uh, push up the middle continues. The the push onto the southern flank is, there's, I wouldn't say push, there's one guy. M Ninja's there. Uh, I believe Bombello did exactly what we said he would and spawned at the WN7 garrison and just got in between in this push here for the French team. Not too much action on the attack happening here. Just reposition the camera, sorry about that. Uh, Mexicanos, is he going for a knife? He is? No! Okay. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to be so janky with the cam. I wanted to see if that was going to be a knife, though. That would be an epic. Uh, Papa Traba. P Papa Traba? Papa Traba? He's getting some smoke assistance. Now, if the Germans didn't know that there was an ally there, uh, I believe they should now, because there's nothing like <laughs> a hidden attack that they don't know about than smoking your friendly's position who's crawling to point. Uh, Papa, if he can get a OP up, I mean, that might be big, but uh, La Ladiga is on the backside here. And no, how do you not see the smoke? Ludiga, Marsmink knows what's up. Marsmink's like, there's something going on over here. Let me go investigate. Come on, Mars. Yeah, reload that magazine and go investigate the smoke. Yes, infantry markers drop, artillery requests drop down. Uh, Papa's going to have to get up and start running if he wants to get out of this uh, splash damage of the arty. I think, honestly, the smoke giving it away a little bit here. Papa did such a good job to sneak into point. If only he had put his OP down and... And then maybe the, I don't know. I feel like the smoke just gives away the position. Regardless, Mars Mink, Pressure Scout, Ghost Kid, everybody and their mother from the defending Axis team falling back here. And before even defensive artillery can drop and, and Papa's still crawling. <laughs> I mean, every, there we go. Artillery kills Papa, kills Mars Mink. Um, Pressure Scout's gonna have an MG42 watching the OP. So as soon as the allies spawn in, they're gonna die. Uh, well, okay. Not, not if friendly artillery kills them first. But yeah, I feel like that smoke was premature. You know, maybe, maybe smoke to the back of the point. Like, use your smoke to bait in that situation because Papa got onto point. Nobody knew where he was. The infantry markers only came down after the first seven smoke rounds landed. 
Papa gets that OP up, and he can then push point. You know, you don't have to be aggro. You can just crawl. Literally, until you kill somebody, you don't have to go aggro. Until you get discovered, you don't have to go aggro. You can get a full squad of six. Just crawl up that ditch there to where Untalented is. And maybe go for an airhead play with a bombing run or something. You know, you don't even... You, you have so many availabilities there, opportunities. It doesn't need to be... To kind of be wasted and given away by dropping smoke on it. Still, you know, Recon coming in on the backside. Uh, Mexicanos... I'm gonna try again for uh for something not too sure what let's check the map and see what is going on in the map right now all right so garrison's usual spots new garrison goes up by terra green here on the attack it's already hot though um mexicanos is looking he's right here he's looking for this garrison but there's a second garrison like the defensive garrison set up here for scdb is very nice um i would love to see maybe i don't know what the fuel situation is like for the allies i'd love to see like an airhead play though <laughs> excuse me that would be nice maybe do I, i've seen the french i don't know who it was it might have been like scalp as commander i've seen him do an amazing an amazing bombing run with an airhead it was so good that the two seconds before the bombing uh sorry the airhead landed the bombing run landed and cleared so it cleared everybody there was like three guys waiting to take out the airhead and it cleared everybody off and the allies won i believe that was squad line battles uh like two or three weeks ago uh but as we say that i mean the allies have some problems of their own garrison being camped here uh, i believe being taken out and, and this is what we talked about like if stdb can break the lines and cut off the connection between the hq the mid and the corner and pin the allies in here they'll ha they'll be they'll be doing a good job uh, i wonder if that is that a half track no that's not a gary there so yeah stdb takes out a gary here and looks to put a stranglehold on this one christian ost Kruitz. Ostkreutz? Ostkreutz? Is that right? I get that one right. Let's go on board with Christian here. Christian looking. Yeah, on the back side. We, we obviously can't see the allied Garys. Um, oh, actually, we can. We can see the allied Garys because it's right there. Does Christian know about it? No. No, Christian. <laughs> he takes some shots, though. Uh-oh, DJI code is going to reveal the position. He actually domes Christian. Uh, Ostkreutz gets one kill, gets two kills. Now there has to be some interest over to this, this garrison position here. Papa Traba is going to be looking for Ostkreutz, but as soon as Ostkreutz comes around the corner, he sees the Gary. No, Ostkreutz. Yes, 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 yes. There you go. Uh, right as the... Sherman goes down on the other side here. Ostkreutz is going to be pushing for this Gary. No, he drops though. Oh no. Okay, but the Gary spotted. The Gary spotted. The Gary spotted. Who kills him? That's going to be uh, DGI code. We'll say your name. Uh, Thithane? No. First shot from uh, Genosi misses onto the Gary. Let's see if second time's a charm. Genosi from downtown. Can he hit it? Can he hit it? Genosi? No, he's getting suppressed by the machine gun. He gets taken out. That's okay. Garrison marker is down. So the the, the Axis do know about this, Gary. Um, there isn't really anybody to do anything about it, though. Like, unless they get a tank on the beach. I don't see that being a huge issue. New push coming in also with armor support. Dr. Zed. Mordok. Dre. What the hell is this name? Dr okay, let's let's go on board with the unnamed unknown Pokemon coming up with the STG44. He is a bush. Uh Dre it Oct 10. Dre attack 10? I don't know if that I, I don't know. Uh let's go on board with Russ out, Ma and Akna. There we go. Those are some easy names. My uh my simple brain can pronounce. Target tank coming up. Allies have been losing tanks frequently. I don't know if there's anything there to pose a threat. Really only going to be AT and satchels at this point. 
AT and satchels. Uh, the AT guns of, of earlier, we'll, we'll go see the AT graveyard. Is, is it still there? Where are those AT guns? There's like three that were destroyed right beside each other. Okay, maybe they're not loading in. Maybe I'm tripping. Yeah, okay. You saw them. Rewind the VOD. There, there were AT guns there. Uh, anywho, so push coming in. Not so successful. Gour Gourdin is, is, is killing people. Bodies. Three bodies so far. Looking for more. Mordok hits the deck. Wolf Mother hits the deck too. Push is halted in its uh, in its tracks. And Dre is one with the bush again. Dre loves bushes. It's not a bad decision though when it is the only cover. Um, we can see Gordan there is looking for a peek, but using the deflate to their advantage, German's able to sneak by. Um, Doctor. Dr. Jones going to be tossing nades. Ooh, let's see this nade. Not close enough onto Gordan. And it's a smoke, so it doesn't matter. Good smoke nades here. Doctor going to be pushing. Gordan is wise to that. Bombing run comes in, though. Uh-oh. Gordan is nothing but mincemeat, mincemeat now. Here comes the attack here from the Axis team. Uh, a little less in numbers than they had before and also that tiger taking some shots hornet 68 looking for some more shots onto the tiger through the smoke he gets it nice shot there hornet 68 good job uh, we couldn't see the rocket go off because of that smoke but yeah that there goes the push honestly i think that's the push done simple 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 stuff here from the allied team but effective tank goes down few bodies drop stdb unable to push and crush this defense here from the 233rd cavalry also playing with blacklist <clears throat> blacklist this is a friendly match this is a friendly match i would call it the uh, community competitive series a bunch, a series of friendly matches within the Hell Let Loose community um, for fun, but also for training. Going back to the mid, not midpoint, Hill 5, the fourth point on the side of the allies. You can see Gary still up, not really any allies pressuring the point. Axis have firm control on this side of the map for 126 minutes to go. Uh, if you're just joining us, the blue team is, if you check the scoreboard on the axis, they are STDB out of Germany. Playing the Germans. On the Allies side in orange is a French coalition, uh, the 233rd clan, and then the Blacklist coalition. Now the Allies are trying to push here a little bit on the east, but uh, there is Daddy Tiger, and he is on the prowl. QQ is, ooh, uh-oh. A little freezing there. QQ is trying to advance on this tiger, but he is spotted out. And oh, machine gun misses, misses, misses. Oh, shot coming in from the right side. From where? From where are you coming? There you are. Okay, what is that? That is going to be a 76. Nice. 76 with the kill onto the tiger. That is the issue. If you are out in the open, you are exposing yourself. Uh, good kill here from the 76. We're going to have to pause off of him, though, because we see supplies coming down on the backside and the front side. Uh, supplies and Gary Marker going up. That is a very far back here for the allies. Um, already marked out. You can see that the, the supplies have already been marked out and they dropped. Uh, Sebario is going to need to find a spot for this Gary. Otherwise, he's going to get shot in the head. Is that too far away? Is it? Sebario? Hello? I don't know if those are bait supplies. Sebario is running. No garrison down yet. Um, Andy's, Andy's looking for this, this Gary. Where, what is Sabario doing? He's behind Andy right now. Is he going to go for a knife? Is he just waiting? Did he, does he not see Andy? Is 
One. Two. Does he get the third? Tabario has to reload here. No, no dice there for Sabario. Rick Toffin gets the kill there and gets the prize of the supplies. Would have loved to see a Gary go down um, while Sabario was up, but no chance of that now. However, when you do have a OP up, you can do things like respawn and, and bait. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of sure this is a bait right here uh, onto these supplies to try and pull bodies off a point. And as we say that, there is an airhead coming down with cap progress on both sides. More cap progress going to the last point here from STDB than on this point. You can see STDB are all over the back point here. Is there going to be an airhead? I don't know. STDB is winning the cap race here versus uh, 233rd. Where is the bombing run? Defensive bombing run here. Airhead is down on the attack. Cap progress has stalled. Bombing run comes in. That's going to be a few kills for sure. One drops, two drops. Three and four are gonna drop. Friendlies are gonna drop too. So you gotta watch out, clowns. No, no, no. Okay. Uh, I kills about the same number from each team. Still having cap progress here from STDB. Chronix is pushing, getting one. He drops. Trades from both teams. Trades are not what the defenders really need right now. They need to get lots of kills here. Cap progress stops. Oh, and continues. It's gonna be so close here. Cap race for the end of this one. STDB look to be going 5-0 on this though with the cap race at the end Wow Really close play. Oh, it's finally stopped. Cap progress has stopped in the backside Both sides look to be securing their their points big big spawn wave coming in here From the defenders from the allies stark probably sees this and is like, oh my god. What? No, no malware bites go away We don't want you <laughs> uh, Stark sees this and he's like, okay, 50 people just spawned. I'm, I'm gonna try to make my way over to that, uh, over to that garrison. Don't mind me. Drops one. Drops two. Oh my god, huge spawn wave comes in. Unloading here, Stark gets dropped. Unfortunately, he doesn't have any nades. Oh my god, can you imagine a nade onto that? Uh, both teams look to be recovering their position. And, and just a burst of insanity leads to almost the game going to STDB. STDB is respawning, though. Uh, big respawn wave coming. You can see on the northwest there. And they do have control of the strong point with an outpost. Uh, Deustin barely missing. Uh, rocked into the face. And I guess when the uh, reinforce went off, cap progress went on again. STDB on the left side of your screen. 233rd and friends on the right. Deustin's looking for some more kills here. He is pushing into the smoke. He's going to get dropped though. <laughs> uh, this is a little more dangerous here though. Chronix, Doctor. Oh my god, the bodies everywhere. Doctor's last one left on the flank here. Takes out one. Looks for more. Does he have what the doctor ordered for the Axis team? Two, three go down. Doctor's going off right now. Three kills. Looking for a nade onto that Gary. Scuffs one. I don't know what that toss was. That was not a good throw. Uh, let's follow Doctor here, though. Oh, he's got to watch out in front of him. Nade right in front of you. Is it smoke? I guess it's just smoke. Finally, Doctor goes down with not without getting four to five kills. Look at the bodies here for the Axis, though, pushing onto this point. It is so close. Allied defenders doing a good job, but remember they have to fight uphill now as soon as the axis get to the middle of this berm here It's it's uphill fighting here for the allies Jean-Luc pushing in kills Zed. There's a few more here. He's gonna try to clear the bunker out 
Grenades go off. Jean-Luc gets in the bunker. Murdoch's going to eat one to the back of the head. Nice play there for Jean-Luc. And the allies, by the skin of their teeth, come out of this one. Somewhat intact. I mean, cap progress is still coming on. The, the strong point is not where that spawn is. So by just by virtue, the allies now, they are stabilizing the cap when they get a bunch of spawns in, but it's not enough. Cap, the strong point is firmly in control of STDB, and this might be it here. This is the last push. No bombing run, no reinforce, no airhead left to go. Um, as soon as that Axis bombing run is up, though, this game is going to be over if if the allies cannot get back and secure the point i think that's actually going to be sooner than that look at the collapse coming in here from the axis team in blue stdb looking to end this one 5 0 18 minutes to go and i think they can do it barring an absolute miracle coming out here for the allies this is going to go 5 0 60 percent cap progress here pushing collapsing on this back garrison and i don't think the allies have an answer for this large spawn wave is going to be coming in here um bombing runs strafing runs 80 percent capped where is the answer here for the allies i just don't see it they have to make it 140 meters to point and there's so many blue bodies here almost a david versus goliath situation right here bombing run comes in that's gonna end the game here bodies dropping absolutely 90 percent on the cap progress one spawn wave comes in it's not going to be enough this is going to end 5-0 stdb with the w coming out with this one in the end 18 minutes to go with a nice nice coordinated push there to finish this one off gg to both teams 5-0 in the victory let's check the points coming out from stdb 3k for ghost kid amazing Raphael in the armor uh, 1.1k here for Zed and squad. What else do we got here? High scores. 1k for uh, Christian squad there. 1.6k for the second vehicle there from STDB. 1.5k from Novers. Nice scores there. Looking at the other team. 1k here from Unreal. Oh, gonna check my score really quick. Thank you for the points for doing nothing and casting the game. Defensive points. <laughs> we'll check the uh, the score of the ally team right as soon as this ends. Good end to that game, though. Exciting. We knew that bombing room was coming, and as soon as it... I, I believe even if it didn't come, that one was was over. Yeah, one came here for Unreal Clowns and Crazy Rammer. Always a high score. 1.2k. 1.7k from uh, Balus the Titan coming in here. 1.5k from uh, from Boitma. I believe it was DJ Squad. Um, going down. 1.2 came for Kraken and Middle Cop from the 5. Wow. What a game. Let's Whew, take a quick breather. Wow, what a game, guys. Uh, congratulations to SCDB for winning this one. And I know a few of you had some questions in game, so I'll just quickly explain. This is a friendly match. Um, professional player means someone's paid to do it. Now, there are paid tournaments out there like the uh, or leagues, like the Hello Loose Premier League, uh, which is going into the 14th week, the 15th week next week. Um, and going into the playoffs, and I believe it's a it's a cash reward, five hundred or seven fifty. I'm not not too sure the exact number on that, but yeah, essentially amateur means you know they're they're not professional. They're not getting uh, they might win some cash prizes uh, prizes, but it's not their job to play. Um, these guys are pros though, in, in that sense of the word. Um, they're very good players. Both teams they play competitions regularly. This game, however, was a friendly between teams, but it's still very competitive. Um, it, it's not not taken lightly, you know. Um, so this is a definitely a different type of game from just the regular pubbing game that you see in Hell at Loose. And, and on channels like mine and many others, like guys like uh, German McPimmel, uh, my friend uh, Lapinou Datin, who's uh, casting French in this game, he was casting in Fran en Francais. Uh, he is uh, also another caster, uh, Das Altberg, uh, McPimmel. Uh, there's so many other names. That I couldn't list them all, but all these great guys contribute a lot to the competitive scene. And what we're trying to do is build this scene up to where maybe one day, you know, there can be uh, bigger cash prizes. People can play this game competitively and get paid professionally to do it. Um, but yeah, no, it was it was a good game. STDB showing that they are a very strong team with this one. Um, close fight on the mid. Uh, close fight 
throughout the game, even when it went up 4-1, I think there was a bit of mis miscommunication on the 3-2 on the when the uh, Germans were attacking the fourth point for the Allies. Uh, they lost that one rather quickly. They regrouped, though, on the last point, mounted a solid defense. However, in the, in the, in the end, STDB does come out with the victory on that one. Uh, yeah, my name is Heathen Hammer. I, I do these casts often. To d this week, I believe I have another one on, so tomorrow, Tuesday, which is uh, a little different from this one. This was one team versus kind of a coalition. Tomorrow, we have basically the same competitive spirit. However, instead of having just one team, the squads are all mixed up. So one team will bring one squad. Another team will bring another squad. It's really competitive also. It's really fun time. That is called Squad Line Battles. Uh, look out for it. We'll be on tomorrow around the same time, around uh, 20, 20 hundred, essentially Central European and uh, 2 p.m. Eastern time. Then on uh, Wednesday, we have another friendly. So one of the teams playing today on the Allies side called the Blacklist is playing against Core. Now, these two teams met on the weekend in the HPL. Core won 5-0 um, against a similar team. Blacklist is a new reshaped team in the French scene uh, with some members, some elements of the five who played on the weekend and some new elements. So we'll see how they do. Uh, it has to be said, though, Core is a very strong team. Core is a very strong team, so that should be exciting. That's going to be on Wednesday. Thursday, at the same time, about 2100, 2130, we got uh, Greyhound Night, which is hosted by another German competitive team called 116th. They're awesome guys. Um, and then on Friday, we might have a tentative uh, scrim it's not confirmed yet i'll put that information on my discord uh if you guys are interested in competitive gameplay and want to want to check out more and want to follow along with these streams as they go you can join the discord down in the uh links below on the twitch page uh if you will if you want to if you want to stay in touch with that uh but thank you guys so much for joining i hope you enjoyed the game stdb winning 5-0 on this one uh Saw some interesting gameplay, interesting elements from both teams. Unfortunately, though, for the Allies team in 233rd, they couldn't uh, win that cap race. It was close. That was a really close cap race. Uh, the airhead came down. There were bodies on point. Um, just in the end, they needed to pull those bodies back because it was the 5-0, right? Uh, if, it's, if the score is different and they have the opportunity to lose a point, maybe they go for that cap race 100% and maybe they win it. But when it's 4-1, when it's, it's hard to justify just throwing everything at the in the kitchen sink at it uh, in case you lose, you know, you lose the game. Anywho, my name is